hi and welcome back after a long time to my channel and it's time to start doing some stuff to the boat uh, I have shown you previously I don't think I can not show it at the moment but I have some places that I have filled and I need to send there is a one place and in the aft there is few and the front there is view and to kick off the season for have uh, fix season uh, it's well I was thinking about starting it with some oh glorious sanding and let's fix up those patches with random orbital sander and get going I wish this goes well, because I'm a little bit frightened to take the sander to my bottom. Hehe, <laughs> to my bottom. But anyway, you got to start somewhere. I'll get the sander and I'll be right back. Now that you guys can see my patches that I need to sand, it's time to start. I will get my hearing aid and some respirators. Super fast motion, go! Well, that was a quicker process than I thought. Let's go to other location. Sorry for the wobbly bit, but let's go. I think I need to check the other side too, if there is any sightings of patches. Just a moment. Now that we are in the other side, aka the starboard side, here is one and I will position you to the next one. <laughs> As you guys can see, these cuts are fairly deep. I need to somehow fill them up with something. I don't know what I have in my garage at the moment, because there has been some motorcycle work going on over there. But don't worry for me using 120 grit, because the plan is to get uh, do the sides first with something like 600 grit oh, oh, hold the, uh, all the sides and then after that with 2000 grit and after that with 4000 grit and then I will polish this up and it will look spiffy as hell let's check out that looks awful and of course I will clean the boat with some sort of non-wax containing uh, 
the washing agent in between the sandings and so on. But yeah, uh, let's go check if I have something in my garage to fill up the voids. Welcome to Finnish cooking part. I don't know, gazillion. But anyway, um, first we need some top coat. The product that I'm using is not sponsored by Pakla. So I can do this, but this is something like top coat, as you can see. Of course, we need some hardener, a brush, some measurement tools, and there is no fun at any time without rubber gloves. But first, let me take a selfie. No, I need to open this up and get going with the measurements. Shall we begin? First, some gloves. Because God knows, I don't know who's God, but not mine. But anyway, people know that when you open the paint can, immediately you can find some paint all over yourself. And that's why I'm removing my watch. Ready to bend over? Smile. <laughs> Just a joke. I forgot to bring something to stir this up. Awesome, awesome tool. And now it is the fun part when things really start to stink a lot. So I have to put some respirators on because last time I didn't use respirators, I lost almost entirely my sense of smell. So not taking any chances this time. something from the crust and put this over here. Of course there is some coffee. I was <laughs> just about to drink the coffee like this, but then I remembered that I have my respirator on. So no coffee at this moment. But let's do some coo mad mad cooking. I think that is plenty enough of this shit. Thingy back on and some protection for the paint can so it doesn't get all shitty on me. Yeah, now comes the fun part. I should put two percent of this hardener into the paint but I don't know how much paint I have, so I think mm, that's enough. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I always hate that when I have to mix up paint. Like so. Where to begin? Let's begin by positioning you guys over here so you can see something that I'm doing. Uh, uh. Up there is great. I need to put the weaver in the right pro position so it's easier for me to see. Now, 
that we have the paint and such done I'm sorry after this one I will not be showing you the whole boat because my hands will be messy and I don't want to touch my lovely camera but as you can see our toothpaste is almost done and it's time to fool around with the paint and see what happens In the meantime, when the paint is drying, it's time to drink some coffee without the respirator on. And man, am I happy to see you all guys still hanging around. All 320 something of you, you are awesome. I love it. But yeah, as I said, uh, after I have uh, sanded these new paints or top coats down a bit, I will bake and I will clean this whole hull and then I will uh, sand it, sand it again and after that I will polish it. And that goes to this part over here, the blue line. Uh, we are going to remove, not today, because today is too awesome of a weather. I need to take my motorcycle out and go to drive a little. But we are removing some deck hardware. There are plenty, plenty of fender hooks. I don't know if the camera catches, but somewhere around there is a small hook. I have four, I think, of those across the boat. And they are... Well, I don't use them ever. So I need to... I was just checking if I had any paint. Uh, but <laughs> they are always on the way. I never use them. Also, I have some antennas, as I have spoken before over there, that I need to remove and I will fill up the holes and then sand it then down, down and be done with it. But yeah, this was the first video of this season. <laughs> as, and as you can see, I'm in my t-shirt hanging out, so the weather is nice. It's 24 degrees Celsius. It's not always snow and rain here in Finland, but usually it is. And on that note, thanks for watching, have a nice day. And if you like the video, leave me a thumbs up. If you don't, don't leave a thumbs up, easy as that. Bye. I have some bonus material for you guys. So, uh, this is the first time that I'm working on the boat on this season, as I told you before. Let's put the battery charger in place. And I will make you suffer the whole thing when I get the extension cord and so on. Part 1 found the charger. Part 2, the cable. And then I need to take you guys inside. Let's begin. So, as I have told you before, 
my batteries in the boat are located in this section and now I need to take this cable and put it here but uh, normally I don't know how to put this cable in without tearing it apart but I have found a way you can see this hole I can feed this power line through here over here let's take you guys closer you can so you can see what I'm doing and take that inside because that's where it is and then we need to figure out which one is the positive can you tell me which one is the negative terminal? I can't hear you. Like so. This is always the funky business part of things. Like that. Then we put some power. There is nothing because the cable isn't connected to the outlet on the wall. But I will come back soon and show you guys that I have connected the cable. Now I have connected the power cable and we will see that it will take two amps. So everything is rock and roll. It looks fairly clean. No water inside. No nothing. And <laughs> this was the fun part. This was dirty as hell from something like 74. It hasn't been cleaned since, at least into my knowledge. So I took a toilet brush and some toilet clean cleaning agent and cleaned this all up. Someone in the Maxi 77 group in Facebook already named this one the fart tube. So. <laughs> it was a funny name for that and that's why it was so shitty but yeah let's put this where it should leave like so and then I need to reposition the negative, the negative terminal so I can flip this cover shut and transmission.